Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at the Yakima Exo System. So this is going to be a kit, great way to start. You have the swing base as well as the top shelf paired together. So if you want to get into the Exo System and you want to have that base for all of your different accessories, this is a great way to start. Now there's some different features to it too. You've got some pros, you've got some downsides, and we're going to talk about them in this video to see if getting into the exosystem is the one for you. So why would you get into the exosystem and what are your other options? This is very unique since you have the two tier cargo system and otherwise you could just get a bike rack on your hitch or a cargo carrier on your hitch, not really both. So first, what are the other things you might see on the highway? So the common choice is to get a roof rack and a hitch cargo carrier. So on your roof rack, you might have things like a roof box or a roof mounted bike rack. And then on your hitch, you have maybe another bike rack or a box. Perfectly fine option, but the exosystem is an upgrade in terms of you probably have more weight capacity with the exosystem. With a roof rack, you're limited to at most 160 pounds. Also, if you have things on your roof, there's a lot of climbing up and down onto your roof. So for your heavier cargo, might not be as fun to do. Now, is your vehicle capable of carrying the exosystem? First and foremost, please double check your tongue weight capacity on your hitch receiver. Right here, right now, this is okay. Like it's bulky, it's heavy, but it's definitely doable to get into your hitch receiver. Once you start loading it up with your accessories and your cargo, it gets heavy very quickly. In fact, right now, I would say please have a 350 pound tongue weight capacity on your hitch receiver. Fully loaded up, you will not exceed that, but I recommend that as a minimum. The next option is to get a small trailer and trailers are awesome. We're here at eTrailer.com, we know, because then you have all that space to load things up. You have the versatility of just it being down to the ground and just easy to grab. Now the downsides is you have a trailer and there's all the extra hassle to having a trailer, towing it around, where do you put it? So the Exo system helps out with that because you just put it into your hitch and you don't have to worry about the trailer associated hassle. So after all that, if you're ready to go into the Exo system, let's take a look at some of its different features that will help you out with getting things ready for your adventure. And later on in this video, we'll go through some of the downsides to it as well. So right off the bat, how versatile is it? You have two tiers of cargo space and each of the tiers has this track system on the inside. Now, if you just have the swing base on, you can actually have this all folded up. Make sure to go in the right order one and two and when you're ready to accessorize you just pull these knobs and bring them right back out so you saw how streamlined it was with the arms in now for the top shelf the arms do not fold in so if you want to take up less space what you'd have to do is you'd have to take the top shelf off it's a uh, let's say three out of ten difficulty because you do have these two bolts here very easy to remove but you're gonna have to figure out where you're gonna store it and what you're gonna do with it and when you are ready to accessorize you just pop that top shelf back in and tighten down those bolts again and now you have that two-tier system so it definitely takes a little bit more time if you want to go back and forth but it's nice to know that the options are there Something unique to the top shelf being paired with the swing base is going to be your locks and your security though. So with the swing base, you're going to get two extra empty lock cores. That means you can take out an old lock core and put the new extra one in. Now the swing base has two extra ones. The top shelf has two extra ones, but we cannot guarantee that you will get them keyed alike. So for planning ahead purposes, before you get your other accessories, figure out how many lock cores are you going to be working with? If you're fine with carrying around maybe two keys to access the whole system, that's great. If you wanna just use one key for all of your exosystem stuff, you're gonna to have to think ahead and see. So like here for our top shelf and swing base combo, we have two, four, and six lock cores so that does not include your other accessories we do have same key system lock core packs sold separately get all of them at once and then switch them out when you're ready to go 
So we have a combination of cleats, tabs, and knobs to secure our EXO accessories. Might look a little confusing at first, but it's a very simple process. So right now our cleats are in the open position. You can also see on the back of the tabs how we have symbols for open as well as closed. So when you place your exosystem accessory and all of them have the same types of tabs in them that fit into those cleats, you then start turning the knob to secure your accessory. So once you have that knob fully tightened down, you'll feel that resistance. You can then push that tab over to the locked position. And that means you can't open those cleats back up. So you can see how helpful that is for just double checking that your accessory is secured. You can also just give it a shake test. Now having that tab out is a good visual cue as well, but this is also a good time to lock your speed knobs if you want to. Once you have them locked, they will free spin. Once they're unlocked, you can feel that tension, you can feel that resistance. Make sure to do the same thing on both sides and if you have a top shelf, make sure to lock up and down. So some people want to know how this will fit on their vehicle. Now, the way it will fit will be different depending on where your hitch receiver is, your bumper, whether you're driving a truck, you have a camper shell, an SUV, things like that. So here are some universal measurements. First is gonna be for clearances from the center of the hitch pin hole to where your knob is. That's going to be six and a half inches. Then we're gonna go from center of hitch pin hole to where your swing base as well as your top shelf mast are going to sit. And that's gonna be nine inches away. If you find that it gets a little too close, you can do some things like move the pin around so it doesn't stick up against your vehicle, as well as for your accessories on your top shelf, you can actually move them out. So if the top shelf location comes a little too close for comfort to so maybe like your spare tire or your camper shell, you do have the option to slide out the top shelf. This is especially helpful for accessories like the bike rack because let's say handlebars and tires, they can come close to your vehicle. So you're gonna remove two bolts. Those are underneath your top shelf track and then you can slide out the entire top shelf eight inches away. That's really the only stopping point. There's no in between. Make sure you're gonna do it for both. So this is the spot where you remove those two bolts and you're gonna find them right there on the cleats of your top shelf. So the tools I use is a 13 millimeter socket as well as a five millimeter Allen wrench. Yes, you do have included tools. I prefer using my own just because it's easier to use versus the stamp wrench Yakima gives you. So because your top shelf can slide out like that, you do have a maximum weight capacity of 80 pounds for your cargo. So that doesn't include the weight of your accessory. Although, depending on your accessory, keep in mind, you are gonna have to lift a little bit higher to get your cargo, your accessory up there. Fortunately, not as high as if it was a roof rack, but also this may cover your rear view window or your rear camera. The height this is gonna add, and I measure center of hitch pin hole to where the top shelf is, is gonna be 27 inches. So the perks there is that, yes, it's just a little bit higher up that you have to lift, but if you have something on your roof, let's say kayaks or a large cargo, maybe a Christmas tree up top, you know that you can still get that clearance. This is a heavy and bulky system on your hitch. So what if you need accessibility into your vehicle? Let's say you need to open up your hatch, open up your trunk, swing open your doors of your van. Well, you can swing the entire system away, accessories and cargo and all. So you start by this knob in the back. It may be a tight fit because of where your bumper and your accessory will be, but try to get in there just to rotate this. Now you want it to loosen completely from your system like that. You can see it angles down because now you can pull this little knob and push out. Use that support triangle just to give yourself some leverage as you push this all the way out. And then this knob over here will catch in the corner, moving you into the 90 degree position. This now gives you all the space to open up your hatch, open up your trunk, lower your tailgate, swing open those doors, things like that. 
Now, with it in a 90 degree position, there are some things to think about when you have that two tier system. Your top shelf is going to have an included jack stand, and this is gonna support the corner of your swing base because while it's perfectly fine to swing it out and have it out just enough time for you to open up the hatch, open up the trunk, things like that, if you're gonna leave it like this for an extended period of time and set up your campsite, that's good as long as you have some extra support. So this jack stand is gonna have two height options depending on your vehicle or how high this sits up. You just pop whichever one you prefer, line up the holes, put the included bar in through one of those holes that fits, and then you're gonna rotate in order to support your swing base. And if you need to access things in your swing base, but maybe you don't have enough clearance underneath your top shelf, this is especially a thing with the larger gear locker box when it's on the bottom. What you can do is you can swing your top shelf out 180 degrees. Start by loosening this little knob that has a little bolt on the end. And then once you've removed either your pin or your lock, you can then remove this pin and then swing everything out. This goes out 180 degrees. And then if you're gonna keep it out in this position, don't forget to pop that pin and that bolt back in. This makes it a lot easier to grab things out of your gear locker or to grab things out of your gear warrior. If you have the bikes up there, one person can grab one on this side, the other person can grab something on the other side. Now you are gonna lose access to your hatch or to your doors or to your trunk with it in this position. So something worth remembering. This movement actually where the top shelf pivots, well, depending on your accessories, you have some interesting clearance measurements. So check out our full kits with those different accessories where I go more in depth on how, let's say the double up bike rack, how its wheels can come close to your car, things like that. But it is nice to know that you have the option of moving that top shelf back and forth to get the best fit for you. To swing it back in, it's a very quick motion. Lift up the tab in the corner and then grab your support triangle. This will help give you enough momentum to swing it up the ramp. Now don't forget to tighten this knob down. Very important because it's holding your swing base towards your vehicle. You want it to move as little as possible when you're on the road. And while we're here, notice how there's a little wiring harness on the base. So if you have four-way wiring on your vehicle, you can use this with the add-on lit kit, which adds on a license plate relocation kit, as well as some taillights for your exosystem. Hopefully this video helped you out with the specs and the measurements to see if the Yakima exosystem is the right fit for you, your vehicle, and your lifestyle. So three main things is first, please make sure you have enough tongue weight capacity. The exoskeleton, which is just a swing base plus a top shelf, already weighs 101 pounds. That doesn't include the accessories as well as the cargo. So that's why I recommend a 350 pound tongue weight capacity for your hitch receiver. Also, please make sure you have enough lock cores and that you're planning ahead for your other accessories if you want everything to be keyed alike. Third, and finally, please have fun with the exosystem. There's all kinds of different accessories, all kinds of different things, whether it's a basket or a box or a bike rack. You can find all of those right here at eTrailer. Check out the individual products. We have descriptions, pictures, and I have reviews about each and every one of them, which explains them further. And that was a look at the Yakima Exosystem two-tier base, which has the Yakima Exo top shelf, the Exo swing base. The accessories you see on them right now are the gear locker cargo box, as well as a gear warrior cargo basket. You saw them all here at eTrailer.com. My name is Evangeline, and I hope you enjoyed the journey.